<laughs> what do we think? <sighs> Good morning, my friends. It's Nina, and let's get ready for Anime Expo. sunscreen on and then finally a tinted sunscreen this is a color correcting sun cream This cosplay will make more sense if I do my hair and makeup. But here is the fit. Now I'm gonna do my face. It's currently 11 p.m. Hopefully I get there like 12.30. So I actually changed back to my pajamas because, oh, there's something on my camera. <sighs> I had to change back to my pajamas because my mom was kind enough to steam out the wrinkles in my clothes But I'm gonna do my makeup right now If you couldn't guess, my cosplay is Kobeni from Chainsaw Man But to catch you up to speed, today is the fourth day of Anime Expo Which means it's the final day It's already been three days I went to day one and day two But I had no time to film, no time to do anything Because I feel like the first two days are very busy Day three and four is a little more chill So I didn't get to experience day three Because I had to stay in and catch up with work But today I want to pick up some anime related merchandise hopefully some webtoons it's just been a very fun time just seeing everyone dressed up and excited about the comics the anime the webtoons that they love and speaking of webtoons and stories that we love i wanted to take this time to talk about a webtoon that i really love this was actually one of the first webtoons that i got into you have probably heard of the series by now but it is called see you in my 19th life the entire series is available to read on webtoon and now it's available on netflix to stream as a live adaptation so if you haven't heard of see you in my 19th life here is a synopsis Chiyun Ban has an extraordinary ability. After her previous life is cut short by a tragic accident, she sets out to reconnect with the people of her past life in a current one. Will memories of her 18th life sabotage romance in her 19th? Or will love endure across different lives? I personally am a fan of romance webtoons, fantasy webtoons, any story that can tug at my heartstrings. And this series has definitely done that for me. I actually followed this webtoon when it was updating weekly. And I personally love how the author writes. There's emotion, comedy, a little bit of suspense. You really just get everything with the series. I think it's very well written. You fall in love with the characters and you're really in for a journey. When friends and people in my life would ask me for webtoon recommendations, this was always my go-to. So when webtoon reached out to me to talk about See You in My 19th Life, I was on board. I will talk about it any day. So if you would like to read one of my favorite webtoons for yourself, you can read See You in My 19th Life on webtoon's app and I will also provide a link down below and also watch the streaming adaptation for yourself on Netflix. Thank you so much to webtoon for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the vlog. So today's makeup, I'm just going to do a simple makeup, everyday makeup that I do. I haven't really gone too hard with the makeup for my cosplay. I mostly just focus on the outfit and the vibe. So day one, I dressed up as Shinobu from Demon Slayer. That was a lot of fun. I actually took a lot of pictures with strangers. I also met some viewers, which was fun, but I thought it was really cute when parents would come up to me and ask me if I could take pictures with their kids and their kids would be dressed up as Demon Slayer characters as well. So that was really cute. So I was Shinobu for day one. Day one, I don't really remember what I did. I was pretty much on my own. I got to see as much as I could. I was mostly 
mostly in the artist alley and it was the busiest day I think so it was actually kind of hard to do anything but I got to see the webtoon booth which was really cool and then I did meet some friends and then I saw some creators that I recognized webtoon creators artists that I recognized it was a really cool experience and then day two I dressed up as Komi from Komi Can't Communicate and that was the craziest day <laughs> the cosplay was a hit I took pictures with probably over a hundred people at least it felt like that to me <sighs> Finished day three of Anime Expo. Oh my gosh, I took pictures with so many people. It was mostly strangers with cameras and all that, but I think people mistook me as an actual cosplayer. So people wanted pictures left and right. I was very honored though. That means this cosplay was pretty good. It was a lot of people just left and right. People wanted a picture either with me or, or they just wanted to take a picture of me. So I guess I looked like a cosplayer, <laughs> but that was a very crazy experience. I kind of wish I recorded it, but again, I was alone for the beginning half of it. But later on, I met up with some friends and I got to explore more of the convention on day two, I feel like. I got to see the exhibit hall and then the entertainment hall just more of the halls and that was so fun I love seeing cool displays of everything and day three I just kind of took it easy I just stayed in got some work done had a chill day for once and then now it's day four I will be going as Kobeni and I actually did have lunch now so I am kind of late it's 12 15 I'm probably gonna leave at like one which is fine and then I'm going to come back at five and go back out for dinner maybe at like six with a friend and then that's it for anime expo but honestly it's been a lot of fun it's been very hectic and chaotic but it's been a lot of fun i definitely want to come back next year and i know what i need to do this time around what i need to bring what i want to do things like that and then maybe hopefully for my own webtoon maybe i'll do something as well i would love to have a booth or something but actually no buts you gotta manifest it i will make something happen but first i have to upload more episodes i swear to love and be loved, the story will just get more interesting. But it's been a lot of fun seeing all the anime that I love, all the webtoons that I love. I just love conventions. And I think this one was really fun because we got to dress up. This is also my first time that I ever cosplayed. I'm definitely going to maybe do more cosplays in the future. Very simple makeup. Kobeni doesn't have all that much makeup. I'll actually do my hair right now. So here's the final makeup strand of hair. Let's imitate those moles. I'm gonna fix my hair. <gasps> my hair is not dry. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let it dry right now. I'm gonna go in with an eyebrow pencil. Luckily, this is very fine. Very fine. It's microscopic. So I can build this mole very easily. Mm. As you can see, there's my cosplay. Just had it steamed a little bit. Is it too close to my eye? No, it's not. I drew them in right there. As the owner of a mole, moles have sort of a shadow around them and then like a finer point in the middle. So I want to make it look a little more realistic. And then I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. I have a gel eyeliner, not as fine. So let's try our best. It's okay if these moles are big cause they look kind of noticeable on Kobini. Perfect. <gasps> oh, they're so cute. Got two moles. I'm gonna make this bottom one a little darker. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna do the one here. <laughs> <laughs> Left side. <laughs> I might make this one a little closer. <laughs> Nothing that concealer can't fix. These moles look good, but I feel like this one could be closer. Perfect. Then we'll conceal it up. Her moles are cute. I think that's cuter. <laughs> These look so cute. Okay, I think the moles are good. I'll actually bring this with me in case they fade out. I'll bring this, this, and this. Perfect. Okay, and then hair time. I am going to kind of dry my hair. It doesn't have to be anything amazing. And then bangs are perfectly on the right side. And then I'm gonna clip here. Give you a closer look. There's the mole. There's my actual mole. This is a real mole, okay? If anyone says Kobani doesn't have a mole there, this is mine. <laughs> and then two here, one on the cheek. I have finally put on- oh, I might have to put on more lip tint, but here is the makeup, and then here is the outfit! <laughs> you can't see it with the- <laughs> And then I'm gonna do my hair, and that should complete everything. What I like about this outfit is that it's very lightweight compared to what I've been wearing as my cosplay. I've been wearing a lot of layers. Okay, hair time. I'm just gonna get a hair tie, and then two red clips. One, 
too. Mm, I'm just hoping I'm doing the right side of her head according to the picture. Ah, it's on the left side of her head. Oops, gotta part my hair the right way. So her hair goes like this and I want it to be seen in pictures. So <gasps> I think that should be good. My hair is kind of long compared to hers. <gasps> nice. <laughs> I have to let a lot of hair out on this side as much as I as much as I can. The vision is coming to life. Get my bangs out. Thank goodness for the simple but effective character design. <laughs> what do we think? I think it's pretty solid. <laughs> oh my god, I have to show you the full fit. Here is the complete Kobeni cosplay. And it's the easiest pose too. I always pose like this with people anyway, so it's perfect this time. Things are good to go. Got our little side hair here. The red clips bring it all together. And then the ponytail. We're ready to go. On my way, yay. Final day. So easy to get in now. No lines. I ran into a mutual of mine and got a bunch of stuff. Oh my god, thank you, Bianca. 